Kanye Omari West, Kanye, born June 8, 1977, is an American rapper, record producer, and fashion designer. He has been influential in the 21st century development of mainstream hip-hop and popular music in general. Born in Atlanta and raised in Chicago, West was first known as a producer for Rockefeller Records in the early 2000s, producing singles for several mainstream artists. Intent on pursuing a solo career as a rapper, West released his debut album The College Dropout in 2004 to critical and commercial success, and founded the record label Good Music. He experimented with a variety of musical genres on subsequent acclaimed studio albums, including Late Registration, 2005, Graduation, 2007, and 800, and 8's and Heartbreak, 2008. Drawing inspiration from maximalism and minimalism, respectively, West's fifth album My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, 2010, and sixth album Yeezus, 2013, were also critical successes. He went on to release The Life of Pablo, 2016, Yeah, 2018, and Jesus is King, 2019. West's discography also includes the full-length collaborations Watch the Throne, 2011, and Kids See Ghosts, 2018, with Jay-Z and Kid Cudi, respectively. West's outspoken views and life outside of music have received significant media attention. He has been a frequent source of controversy for his conduct at award shows, on social media, and in other public settings, as well as for his comments on the music and fashion industries, US politics, and race. In 2020, he ran an unsuccessful independent presidential campaign that advocated for a consistent life ethic. His Christian faith, as well as his marriage to television personality Kim Kardashian, have also been a source of media attention. As a fashion designer, he has collaborated with Nike, Louis V, and APC on both clothing and footwear, and have most prominently resulted in the Yeezy collaboration with Adidas beginning in 2013. He is the founder and head of the creative content company Donda. West is one of the world's best-selling music artists, with more than 20 million albums and 140 million singles sold worldwide. He has won a total of 21 Grammy Awards, making him one of the most awarded artists of all time. Among his other awards include the Billboard Artist Achievement Award, a joint record three Brit Awards for Best International Male Solo Artist and the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award. Six of his albums have been included on Rolling Stone's 2025 Greatest Albums of All Time list, the same publication named him one of the 100 Greatest Songwriters of All Time. West is the tied holder for the most albums, four, topping the annual Paz and Jop critic poll. Time magazine named him one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2005 and 2015. BBBBB West is among the most critically acclaimed artists of the 21st century, earning praise from music critics, fans, industry peers, and wider cultural figures for his work. John Karamanica of the New York Times said that West has been a frequent lightning rod for controversy, a bombastic figure who can count rankling two presidents among his achievements. Nyson elaborates, he is talented enough that he has made the calculation that you can dislike him and you will still listen to his music. That's kind of a rarefied space for a mainstream musician, someone who can almost willfully turn his fan base off at some moments and still know that in all likelihood, they will be there for his next release. West has been called America's Mozart by David Samuels of The Atlantic, a sentiment which Ed Ledsham from Pop Matters found indicative of how West's work has received canonization from critics in a manner previously almost unknown to rap music. In Ledsham's opinion, West's melding of multiple genres into the hip-hop fold is a complex act that challenges the dominant white notions of what constitutes true art music. Eric Nielsen, a University of Richmond professor who teaches courses on hip-hop culture, opines that West is a mediocre rapper, but an extraordinary producer. Nielsen states, he is willing and able to experiment in ways that many people either don't or can't. He will take a concept to an extreme, and flesh it out and explore it in some sort of depth, with a broad, eclectic range of sounds that he draws on that has opened up new possibilities for artists who came after him. 
In 2013, Julianne Escobedo Shepherd of Spin described West as fronting a new art pop era in contemporary music, in which musicians draw widely on the visual arts as a signifier of both extravagant wealth as well as creative exploration. West's middle-class background, flamboyant fashion sense, outspokenness, and ability to reinvent himself on each of his albums set him apart from other hip-hop artists. Rolling Stone encapsulated West by calling him as interesting and complicated a pop star as the 2000s produced a rapper who mastered, upped, and moved beyond the hip-hop game, a producer who created a signature sound and then abandoned it to his imitators, a flashy, free-spending sybarite with insightful things to say about college, culture, and economics, an egomaniac with more than enough artistic firepower to back it up. All Music editor Jason Birchmeyer writes of his impact, as his career progressed throughout the early 21st century, West shattered certain stereotypes about rappers, becoming a superstar on his own terms without adapting his appearance, his rhetoric, or his music to fit any one musical mold. Early in his music career, he was among the first rappers to publicly criticize the preponderance of homophobia in hip-hop culture. Meanwhile, he maintained a preppy fashion sense that helped expand hip-hop's definition of masculinity. Nielsen concedes that West definitely made it okay to be a little bit of a weirdo. He said when he came out that he wasn't a thug. He was the kid who went to school, his mom was a college professor. He definitely challenged some of the authenticity that had to be there at the moment. Rolling Stone credited West with transforming hip-hop's mainstream, establishing a style of introspective yet glossy rap. West has been credited with the commercial decline of the gangsta rap that once dominated mainstream hip-hop. The outcome of a highly publicized sales competition between rapper 50 Cent's Curtis and West's graduation marked a turning point in the music industry. With its emotive raps and confessional details, the album altered the direction of hip-hop and helped pave the way for new rappers who did not follow the hardcore gangster mold to find wider mainstream acceptance. West's victory proved that rap music did not have to conform to gangster rap conventions to be commercially successful. According to Ben Detrick of XXL magazine, West effectively led a new wave of artists, including Kid Cudi, Whale, Lupe Fiasco, Kids in the Hall, and Drake, who lacked the interest or ability to craft lyrical narratives about gunplay or drug dealing. Rosie Swash of The Guardian deemed the sales competition a historical moment in hip-hop, because it highlighted the diverging facets of hip-hop in the last decade, the former was gangsta rap for the noughties, while West was the thinking man's alternative. It was West's fourth studio album 808's and Heartbreak, 2008, that may stand as his most influential work. According to Billboard senior editor Alex Gale, that album is the equivalent of Bob Dylan going electric, and you still hear that all the time, in hip-hop and outside of hip-hop. Though 808's and Heartbreak polarized listeners upon release, the album was a commercial success and impacted popular music stylistically. It laid the groundwork for a new wave of artists who generally eschewed typical rap braggadocio for confessional, intimate subject matter and introspection, including Drake, Frank Ocean, Future, J. Cole, Kid Cudi, Childish Gambino, The Weeknd, and Tyler, The Creator. Village Voice Media senior editor Ben Westoff dubbed West the greatest hip-hop artist of all time, writing, he's made the best albums and changed the game the most, and his music is the most likely to endure. Billboard senior editor Alex Gale declared West absolutely one of the best, and you could make the argument for the best artist of the 21st century. Sharing similar sentiments, Complex called West the 21st century's most important artist of any art form, of any genre. The Atlantic writer David Samuels commented, Kanye's power resides in his wild creativity and expressiveness, his mastery of form, and his deep and uncompromising attachment to a self-made aesthetic that he expresses through means that are entirely of the moment, rap music, digital downloads, fashion, Twitter, blogs, live streaming video. According to Samuels, he is the first true genius of the iPhone era, the Mozart of contemporary American music, intent on using his creative and emotional gifts to express the heartbreaks and fantasies of his audience. Joe Muggs of The Guardian compared West to David Bowie within the modern mainstream following Bowie's death in 2016, arguing that there is nobody else who can sell as many records as West does, while remaining so resolutely experimental and capable of stirring things up culturally and politically. 
Outside of his music career, West's success in the fashion industry has led to him being recognized as one of the most influential popular culture figures of his generation.